Hi, my name is Lauren with House Stuff and MyCarWorks.com. Today I will explain how the clutch system works. There are two types of clutch systems, mechanical and hydraulic. Most of the newer vehicles and light trucks are equipped with hydraulic systems. One of the advantages of the hydraulic clutch system is its self-adjusting feature. Mechanical clutch systems need constant adjustment to maintain clearance. Today I will focus on the hydraulic system since it is more likely that your vehicle has this more modern design. The most common parts you will find in a hydraulic clutch system are a clutch pedal, clutch master cylinder, clutch slave cylinder, clutch release bearing, clutch pressure plate, clutch disc, flywheel, and depending on the manufacturer, pilot bearing or pilot bushing. In an external clutch slave cylinder, there will also be a clutch fork. When you depress the clutch pedal in your vehicle, the pedal pushes a rod connected to the clutch master cylinder. The clutch master cylinder converts mechanical movement into hydraulic pressure. The master cylinder contains the hydraulic fluid. This fluid is pressurized and sent through the clutch slave cylinder through the hydraulic line that connects them together. In an external clutch slave cylinder, the hydraulic pressure pushes on a rod that is connected to the clutch fork. The clutch fork applies pressure to the pressure plate through the clutch release bearing. In an internal clutch slave cylinder system, the clutch slave cylinder and the release bearing are one unit, eliminating the need for a clutch fork. The pressure applied by the release bearing to the pressure plate allows it to operate, disengaging the clutch by releasing the pressure against the clutch disc. Once the clutch is disengaged, the transmission input shaft stops turning along with the engine. The vehicle can now switch gears without damaging the transmission. The clutch disc is the part that makes contact with the pressure plate and the flywheel. The clutch disc slides over the splines of the transmission input shaft. This is how the rotational movement of the engine is transferred from the flywheel to the transmission. For more tutorials about the clutch system operation, troubleshooting, and component replacement, visit our website, HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com.